Yeah, he's done a good job. It's been nice to have a full week, and uh, you know, he's he's uh, he's he's definitely definitely the guy right now that gives us the best chance for sure. Video evidence of this anywhere? Uh, I, 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 wow! That's impressive. Uh, the only camp I ever went to in my life was the South Alabama Jaguars basketball camp. They had a guy named Terry Catlins. Terry Catlins was a uh, he was a guy I love. I, I love the. That's the only camp I ever went to. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, it's different. You know, that's why when we go when we go up there, we always go by the dome uh, because it's not like going into the Mercedes Benz. I mean, it's different. It's a it's a little different feel, and you just kind of got to get uh, get used to it a little bit. And, and um, so it's it's a it's a great place to play a game. Uh, you know, really cool venue. Uh, it's unique. Very unique, so uh, we don't we don't always stop by and, and see where we're going. Uh, but that's one of those places that I do think it's good for. You know, like Cade's never been there. Uh, obviously, the punt returners and the kickers and all those guys just to be able to have a chance to kind of walk around a little bit, put their eyes on it, and you know, be able to visualize it um, the uh, for the game. Uh, I, I cannot confirm or deny that. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Two things: his ball fakes, uh, he does a great job. But he also does a great job with the cadence. You know, he does a great job with both verbal and the clap, and, and can create some problems for you a little bit there. I think he's he's very crafty, uh, you know, with that. But he's you know very experienced player and played a lot of games and, and things like that. But uh, definitely, you know, something he does a super job of, and uh, you know, trying to create a little hesitation. Yeah, I mean, he, you know, he's, I don't know that anybody's a hundred percent, you know, game five, I think, you know, but he's, uh, he played well, uh, he had probably one play he'd like to have back, but he, he, he played a good game, really good game, uh, as did our, our defense. So, uh, it was a good week of practice. Uh, I mean, maybe a guy here or there. I mean, it's uh, we still got a couple guys uh, – you know that we probably won't be able to make a full decision on it until in the morning, uh, but uh, similar. You know, maybe maybe two or three guys be a little different. It's close. It's close. Had a good day today, so you know he's getting better every day, every minute. It's, it, that's not really a part of it. I mean, we practice. It's so different than what we practice in on here. We uh, practice uh, and warm up on every day and, and do different things. So uh, they've got a good surface, a good field turf, but 
you know, it's just a matter of can he do everything he needs to do uh, safely to be able to, you know, plant, cut, change direction, all that stuff. And, uh, but uh, same thing, he's just getting better every day. Uh, he's living in the training room and making a lot of progress. Who, who, who are we talking about? Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, man, he, he, made, he made a couple of really good checks. Uh, he made some big-time plays with his legs, in, in particular the one uh, down the left sideline there, uh, you know, escape pressure. And, I mean, you just see what he, he's just a problem. Uh, he can really uh, put some pressure on the defense with his ability uh, to – to move the chains, you know, and then I thought he made some really, really good decisions, some good runs, uh, which that's an area that we definitely have seen a ton of growth from that first game where he, we felt like he left a lot of meat on the bone in, in that aspect of his game. But some big time uh, reads and accurate throws and, and just his, his overall just, you know, command and, and his leadership, uh, his poise. I mean, he's, He's just right before our eyes getting better and better uh, each week. Uh, I mean, I think just playing is, is what we need. I mean, you just, you know, you hate you got to wait, wait a week to – play, but that's just the nature of our sport, right? So you wish it was basketball and you just go play tomorrow night. You know, we lost on, on the buzzer and uh, get to play tomorrow baseball and get to play again tomorrow night. But, you know, that's just that's the nature of football. You got to kind of um, linger in it for a while to even go play again. So regardless of whether we're playing at home and on the road, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's just good to be able to have another opportunity to go play. Um, so we're excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think Dino's. I think he's a great, a great coach. He's a great guy. Um, he, he's, I think, an excellent teacher. Uh, he's tough, and um, I mean, I think he's a great fit for Syracuse as, as well. I mean, I just think he's, he's. Uh, you know, I, all I can speak from is my perspective. Uh, I've got a chance to spend a lot of time with him over the years, and uh, again, he's incredibly smart. Um, and in detail in, in every aspect of the program. Uh, I've been able to spend some time with him, both in meetings, but also on, you know, kind of uh, Nike trips and things like that. And he's just a guy I really like a lot. Um, and um, his teams have always played tough. I mean, they're tough, they're physical, they swarm to the ball. He's always, seems like he's always got a quarterback that's, that's a problem. Um, so, got a, I've, always, I've got a ton of respect for uh, you know, how he runs his program and uh, how his kids play. And I think the way they play shows the respect that the team has for him because they, they, play, they play their tails off. I noticed that. Uh, yeah, I noticed that. I knew I knew we'd be playing them all too when we went to this uh, one division here. And uh, so, yeah, we got there's some dudes in this league. But you know what? I mean, listen, I, I, I think it's accurate. I think we had, I think we had the most starting quarterbacks in the NFL last year in the, from the ACC. So, I mean, I've seen so many good quarterbacks, Heisman Trophy winners. I mean, I mean, I've seen some great ones come through this league. Um, but certainly, the, it, it seems like everybody's got a guy uh, who can beat you. And uh, obviously, that's a, a most critical position. You don't have a quarterback, you get average real quick. Uh, and, uh, 
man, every single everybody has got somebody. And I've seen some good young guys this year in our league that I didn't I didn't really know much about. Uh, you know, like the kid that I saw at Boston College you know, getting ready for Florida State. Man, what a what a performance he had. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't know much about him. And, um, you know, I just I see some good young ones, but certainly these guys that, that we have to play. Uh, you know, Georgia Tech got the kid that transferred in there. He's, a, he's a, I think, a very good player. Um, obviously, this week, you know, Wake Forest always has a quarterback. You know, NC State, you know, the, the veteran in, in Armstrong. Uh, Van Dyke down there at Miami. Um, I mean, South Carolina, we're rattling. Everybody, everybody's got one. So, it's uh, North Carolina. Drake May, he's pretty good. Uh, so, it's, yeah, we got to. We got a tough road ahead with these guys. So it's a very, very deep league, and um, and, uh, in my opinion, it's kind of always been that way from a quarterback perspective. This year exemplifies that.